Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Good. Hey, good. good. I just cleaned up and I kind of need something else to do. Anybody have any ideas? Don't you have some more games you could play? Played them all. Maybe we could make our own games. You know, I did a little research about different games from around the world. For example, Mancala is a game from Africa. It's made with um, just a wooden board or you can dig holes in the dirt. And um, historically, people use seeds or stones as the pieces. There's also the dreidel that the first time it was ever used was around 1890, which is a really long time ago. And the dreidel is a, a toy that's a top that could be made from clay or wood. Oh, those are cool games. Yeah, I feel like a lot of those games didn't really need a lot of materials either. Just kind of your imagination and some rules. We should make our own games to play at home. Yeah, let's brainstorm some ideas. Hmm. Guys, I, I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything. You come up with anything? Well, um, I designed a tower I could make out of tubes. Hmm, that's cool, but how can we play that? Um, do you have rules? Yeah, and what's the goal of the game? I don't know. Hmm. I didn't think of that. I guess it's not really a game. It's more of a cool building. Our designs need to have rules, a goal, and they have to be played over and over, not just one time. Well, I can help. Here's what I want to do. I'd like to create a game where the goal is to get to the end of the game board while doing a whole bunch of different challenges in between. Hmm, that sounds cool. Here's my idea. Since my kids like to play with balls and just anything around the house, I'm going to create a game called Rollerama, which hmm. you can play two ways. Okay, so I think I get it now. I think I need a, a game that we can play over and over again and has rules. I'll come up with a design and I'll meet up with you guys later. Sounds good. All right. All right, bye. Bye. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey, it's going hey. well. Hey guys. Hey Kathy, did you come up with a new plan for another game? Well, yeah, I did. Um, I decided that I was gonna make a ring toss out of my tower. So now I have the actual rules and a goal. Sure. That's awesome. It kind of reminds me of my game where I'm gonna be taking the idea of skee ball, like at an arcade, and I'm gonna take it outside and do it at my house. It's gonna be sidewalk skee ball. Awesome. I'm going to make an unplugged coding game called Splash Code, which is a, a game where you give directions like you're coding, but you don't need a computer to play it. Nice. That's really cool. I'm going to make a superhero training game. It's going to be called Superhero Unicats. And it's going to have a start, a finish, and then it's going to have different challenges. And when you win different challenges, that's going to be one way that you can move forward. I have dice. I have some jump ropes I'm going to make out of recycled plastic bags. And the winner gets to be the superhero. Wow, that sounds so oh, cool. interesting. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm going to make Rollerama, like I said earlier, and you can play two ways. One way with a golf club. If you don't have a golf club, you can actually just roll the ball as if you're um, bowling and try to earn points. Oh, wow. 
That's really cool. I'm so excited about our games. Um, I can't wait to actually see them and I want to get building. Kids, do you think you can come back later and see what we've come up with? I bet your ideas are going to be fabulous. Awesome. I'll see you guys soon. See you guys. Hi guys. Remember, your game needs to have rules, a goal, and needs to be able to be played over and over.